Hi guys, I'm here to do a review for you guys for the powder brush foundation by e.l.f. I had heard so, so, so much about it and I finally get to give it a try for you guys. And I have used it a couple of times already and I absolutely love it, but I wanted to do it for you guys on video and it is the e.l.f. powder brush from the studio foundation. It is a flat top brush. And I'm going to be using it with the True Match L'Oreal foundation that I absolutely love. I will tell you guys that my husband is in the room and he is somebody that likes to make appearances in my videos. He, if you watch my videos, you know, you know that he makes appearances in my videos. Or you'll see him waving in the back and I won't even know until like I upload the video and I'm watching it back um and i notice or somebody's like is that your husband and i'll look at the video and i'll see him in the back so just know this is such an amazing brush i heard so much about it it's for powder and i really do not use it for powder i use it for liquid and it is the most amazing amazing brush it gives you the best finish um and i am going to be trying it out for you guys so you guys can see it's my true match spf 17 i have been using this foundation for a while and i absolutely absolutely love it so let's get started what i do is i get the top of the brush flip it and then i just pour it on top i just pour it on top and right immediately i like to pour it on my face and just dab it all over my face just because it like it will seep into the brush as you can see it will be, start seeping into the brush so i like to just dab it on my face right away and while so it doesn't just seep through and then this is such an amazing brush that you can just use it all over your face if you hear a vibrating noise it's my husband's controller and it sounds super loud to me so i don't know if you guys can hear it really loud but just so you guys know and here I'm buffing it all over my face and it just gives you the most airbrushed look it really just gives you an amazing amazing finish before the brush I used to love using this makeup with just my fingers because I don't know why I feel like maybe it's the warmth of my fingers or whatever that helps put it, everything in but I just think it feels so, so, so good when you do it with, sorry guys, when you do it with your, with your fingers. But now with this brush, I can tell you guys that it just feels so, so good. This brush is so, so, so soft. So you can see, look, you can push it and it's soft enough, but it's not super soft. I really have to put, I'm putting a lot of force right now and it's not all bent. It is soft, you can't really feel it. And what I like is that it just gives you an even, even layer. Right now I already had my eyes done, but if not, usually I don't have my eyes done or I don't have my lips done and I go over everything. Close my eyes and I go over my eyes and everything. And then close my lips and go and if you're someone that smiles when you put on makeup you will end up seeing where it like doesn't settle into your lines so what I do is I do it smiling and then I just twist the side this is such 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 an amazing brush I do love the elf brushes in general but this one is by far such an amazing amazing brush and then just for a quick layering i like to just get whatever's left on the tip and just put my brush on it some people don't like putting their brush in it for hygiene reasons but it's my makeup i i don't put on anybody else so i'm okay and then i just go under my eyes because i won't be concealing today i don't i'm not going anywhere i don't Usually, I really don't have acne on my face. I've never been someone to have acne. So I really think this brush is something that just glides over your face and really doesn't accentuate pimples. So if you're somebody that has acne, you might want to give this 
a try because it really does just go over and if you really can't find a brush try going over with your fingers i think sometimes brushes in general when you wear a certain foundation and you go over it um i really think that it highlights the bump like it'll put like if you have a pimple like this it's just gonna put makeup all around the end on the top like you really have to work at it. Try using your fingers and it should be amazing. If you have acne, maybe your makeup will apply better with your fingers. Because I know that whenever I do get little tiny pimples somewhere, that it works a lot better with, with your fingers. So it's really, this brush makes it so much easier to layer. I don't know why exactly, but this makeup, this makeup brush since I already put the first layer and I did go over with the second one just for under my eyes, you will see that this one is really good for layering. It does not cake up your makeup. Um, it's really, really good for liquid foundation. And that's because it is for powder foundation. It is something for powder foundation. I am going to be using with it this e.l.f. baked blush. So I'm going to see how that works with it because this is powder. And um, since it's kind of, it doesn't have really any more foundation in it. As you can see, it's all gone. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub a little bit of the blush on it. Just to get a little bit. Because this one's really, really light pink. And this is more of a, just like of a shimmer. Just like of a shimmer a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my actual, actual blush that I love to use. It's this fuchsia fuchsia pink. And they do have this like in cover girl and stuff. I wouldn't even be able to tell you where this blush is from. But um, because I got it from one of those Christmas packs. But this is such an amazing foundation. As you can see, the pigment is, I mean blush. The pigment is so 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 good. And for powder, this is supposed to be a powder brush. For a powder brush, you can use this definitely for powder, and it definitely picks up everything for you so what i'm going to do here i actually think this brush would be really good for contouring but i'll tell you that right now in a minute I'm just going to put the blush on here and then i'm just going to spread it i think this is so much better for blush than my angled brush blush brush from elf because i do have this one and it is this one the regular elf one for blush but I really think that this one, I don't know, I think it's too small. I really don't know what it is. But ever since I got this one, I like using it for my blush. I really just think it's perfect if you're going to use it like on the apple of your cheeks. I really think it's just perfect for having it there. And if you're someone that likes to contour, but you don't want to spend a lot on the contour brushes. And or if you, this is, you go on a trip and this is the only brush you have, it really is a versatile brush. You can use it for your foundation, do your powder, and then you can go in with your blush. And if you're going to contour, so, so easy. All you do really is just put the, the edge of it all over your contour. Let me see if I can do it for you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can do it for you guys just so you can see really quick. I'm just going to get this. It's from my Pro Fusion Drama Palette. I'm just going to get this brown color. And what you do, what you really want to do is just get the brush and just twist it around. As you can see, it's picking up the product. Just twist it around very little and then this one's not that dark but I'm just gonna show you the guys that you can do your contour it does give you an amazing line there you go and as you can see since this is very straight as you can see it would be really really good for contour and if you don't want to use this to blend it out which you can you can use it really well to blend it out. And if you don't, you're not someone that conjures, you really don't have to use it for this. You can use it for anything. There's people who like to shape their booms, for instance. There's people who do that. They want to give themselves the look. You can do the same thing, just get a dark one. And then you can just use it here. And it's just to give you some kind of shadow. I know there's people who use shadow for that. This is super pretty just because it is like a fluffy brush. You can really use this for anywhere. It is an amazing. And you can just blend it out completely. This is such, such, such a versatile brush. You can use it on your body. I imagine if you're somebody that uses body glitter, you can totally make use of this. When I was younger, I used to love body glitter. And since this is 
such an amazing brush you can really use it to disperse everywhere it's not one of those brushes like this that's little and it's gonna take you a long time this really does cover a lot of area and to this flat top it really does cover everything at one time it is such an amazing brush you really could use it for all over your body I am somebody who um, loves these kind of brushes who loves trying new brushes this is the Sonia Kashuk one it is a domed one and this is the flat top one this one I don't like it for foundations I use this one for blush for powders all over the body if I'm gonna use a shimmer if I'm gonna use just a little bronzer type thing this one this one's supposed to be for liquid foundation and I don't really like it I've also had the elf one stick to this one it's three dollars and this is such an amazing amazing foundation brush that you will totally love just because something says blush brush so just because something says contour brush doesn't mean you can't use it for anything else this is such an amazing brush that you guys can use for absolutely anything so you guys pick it up i bought this one at target but i'm pretty sure they have it a lot of other places and i'm sure you guys will absolutely love it thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys see you soon bye